So leadership development, which there's been a ton of, so you have an opportunity to include the most significant things you've done. Please do not include every class you've ever taken. I don't care that you took, I promise not to share my password with anyone training. Everybody has to take that. But I'm looking to show that you've done some leadership development. And why do we want to see that? Because one of the fundamental competencies of the ECQ is continuous learning. And this demonstrates that you do continuous learning. And if you've got training that also supports the TQs, I'd throw in a couple of those courses as well. Awards and honors. Again, only your significant stuff. And if you haven't gotten anything recently, leave the dates off awards so that you can really just focus on the most important. Please don't tell me that you were in a college fraternity or honor society. Honestly, no one cares. All right, military awards, again, if they're significant, that's fine, absolutely. Professional publications, please. No one wants five pages of your publications. When you are applying for SES jobs, these are leadership jobs, right? They're not academic jobs. I've had long discussions with people over this. The fact that you have publications is notable. What I recommend that you do if you have published is more than X number of peer-reviewed publications, posters, and presentations. Complete list available. And then list three or four of the most recent and or relevant. But don't go to town on these because SCS jobs are leadership jobs. If you're applying for an ST or an SL, that's a different conversation, okay? If you have a Google Scholar ranking, of course you should put Google Scholar ranking whatever, but no one wants to see five pages because you can get the point across. And if your publication is not peer reviewed, but it's relevant, that's fine too, because there is a fundamental competency for written communication skills and you know, you should get credit for that. Licenses and certifications. My attorneys, you are required if you are applying for an attorney job to say that you are a member of the bar, the name of the bar, and that your membership is active. For faxy cores or any of those folks, knock yourself out, include it. Likewise, if I have any PEs or CEMs or any of those kinds of folks, yes. Please don't tell me you're a notary public. Not interested. 